Hi everyone, welcome to Learning is Fun with Miss. In today's lesson, we will learn about fact and opinion. What is a fact? A fact is always supported by one or more shreds of evidence. A fact is true and correct for everyone, no matter what. What is an opinion? An opinion holds an element of belief or viewpoint which hasn't been validated or proven yet. A fact is a true statement about something that can be tested and proven to be true. For example, the sun is hot. This is a fact because we can test the temperature of the sun and prove that it is indeed very hot. Opinion. An opinion is what someone thinks. An opinion cannot be tested since it is always changing. For example, I love broccoli. It is so delicious. This statement is someone's belief about broccoli. This belief may change over time, therefore, it is an opinion. Let's keep in mind the following. A fact is an actual thing that exists and is provable, observable, and measurable. Here are some words to look out for to determine whether or not a statement is a fact. For example, numbers, statistics, verified by a credible source, document, eyewitness, corroborate, record, substantiate, prove, photographs to prove validity. Examples of facts. My mom's new car gets 35 miles per gallon in the city and 45 miles per gallon on the interstate. Last night, we took a photograph to prove that raccoons have been raiding our garbage cans. Now, it's also important to keep in mind the following. An opinion is a personal belief or judgment that is not founded on proof or certainty. Here are some words to look out for to determine whether or not a statement is an opinion. Good, bad, believe, think, always, never, might, should, guess, interpretation, Point of view. Examples of opinions. My dad thinks we should get a compact car because we might get better gas mileage. Although raccoons are cute, mom believes they are a menace and should be taken to a wildlife sanctuary. Examples of facts. Three examples of facts that are concrete and that could be documented include The house was painted on November 18, 1999. Today is Saturday. My son had a temperature of 102 degrees this morning. Expressing opinions using the following statements. In my opinion, in my view, in my experience, as far as I'm concerned, speaking for myself, personally, I think, personally, I believe, or I feel. I tend to think that, I am sure, 
I am certain. I am convinced that. I am not sure. I am not certain. But. As far as I know. As far as I understand. Or as far as I can see. As I see it. I'd say that. I'd suggest that. I'd like to point out that. I believe that. What I mean is. As for me, I think. If you ask my opinion. It seems to me. From my point of view. I might be wrong, but if I'm not mistaken, I am of mixed opinions about or I am of mixed opinions on this. I have no opinion in this matter. Opinion sentence starters. I prefer. I think, I feel, I know, I believe. In my opinion, the best thing about, the greatest part about, the worst part about, everyone should, blank is better than blank because, if you liked blank, then you will love blank. Let's look at some examples using those sentence starters. I prefer vegetables over meat for lunch. I think that I am not prepared to take the quiz tomorrow. Juan feels sad because his vacation has come to an end. I know that Grandpa Jerry loves me a lot. I believe that I am doing a great job in my algebra class. In my opinion, Jenny should not go to the movies with James. The best thing about this show is that it is a documentary about Brazil. Everyone should watch documentaries because they can learn new things. It is better to have ice cream after dinner. If you like the documentary on Brazil, then you will love the upcoming show about Argentina. Let's stop and check. Let's test our knowledge. Directions. Is the sentence a fact or an opinion? If it is a fact, write fact. If it is an opinion, write opinion. Playing basketball is the best way to exercise. Fact or opinion? A triathlon involves running, bicycling, and swimming. Fact or opinion? During World War II, the Prime Minister of Great Britain was Winston Churchill. Fact or opinion? Please pause the video and take some time out to figure out these statements and whether they are fact or opinion. Dogs are genetically related to wolves. Fact or opinion? Cats are more friendlier than dogs. Fact or opinion? Parrots have the ability to mimic human speech. Fact or opinion? Again, please pause the video and write fact or opinion 
for each of these statements. Our class pet is very cute and loves to be petted. Blue whale is the biggest animal in the whole world. Giraffes eat leaves and buds from trees. Giraffes are the best animals in the world. Fact or opinion? Please pause the video yet again and write fact or opinion next to each statement. Now let's go over the answers. Number one, playing basketball is the best way to exercise. That is an opinion. There are many different types of exercises. This is just one sport. A triathlon involves running, bicycling, and swimming. This is a fact, it could be proven. During World War II, the Prime Minister of Great Britain was Winston Churchill. This is also a fact that can be proven based on a reliable source. Dogs are genetically related to wolves. This is also a fact that can be proven based on a reliable source. Cats are more friendlier than dogs. This is an opinion. It is someone's beliefs. Parrots have the ability to mimic human speech. This is a fact, and it could be proven by a reliable source. Our class pet is very cute and loves to be petted. This is an opinion. It is someone's belief. It could change over time. Blue whale is the biggest animal in the whole world. This is a fact. It could be proven by a reliable source. Giraffes eat leaves and buds from trees. This is a fact. It could be proven by going to a reliable source and conducting a research. Giraffes are the best animals in the world. This is an opinion. It is simply someone's belief or how they feel. I hope this lesson was helpful to you. In today's lesson, we learned about fact and opinion. Thank you for watching and learning with me. I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.